Now let's talk about this some more. Joining me live from London is a lawyer and security analyst, Dr. Charles Omoli. Thanks a lot for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, now all the leaders who support this Southwest Security Initiative have said that the aim is to support, is to augment, some have said consolidate current security efforts at the center. And, you know, the Chief of Air Staff has said, renewed the call for all hands to be on deck. So what's the problem with the kind of support Amotecno proposes? Well, I think the difficulty with the Amotecno initiative is the way it's been casted by the proponents of the, of the, of the initiative. Uh, Amotecno as a support intelligence gathering operation is perfectly legal. But uh, as somebody earlier said, policing is, you know, on the exclusive list, Section 214 of our Constitution makes it clear that there can only be one police in Nigeria. Now, clearly, if somebody will say, if it looks like a dog, if it barks like a dog, if it walks like a dog, it's a dog. If an agency is set up and seems to copy or want to do what police does, it is police through the back door. So I can understand the fear of the federal government in, the, in that sense. I would have thought there are better ways of um, creating an intelligence gathering uh, uh, outfit within the Southwest that will provide the, uh, a first, you know, response, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, capability for the police. Uh, that for me will have been the better way to do it than the way it's been done. And more importantly, also. There is no law. None of the states have um, created law to establish, to regulate how a protection will work. And uh, the way it's been set up also I have a fear as to its future. Because if there's no law that establishes in each of these states, how do you appropriate funds for it in the years to come? So it seems it's been rushed, and I think they've, been, they've not been well advised. But personally, I support Amotecno as an initiative. I just feel it needs to be tweaked a little bit. Uh, cl clarify this issue of community policing versus state policing, because what we heard today that the government was willing to even fund community policing, so in some quarters people said, well, that means it's the same thing. It's just a case of semantics, whereas others say community policing, the policy has been approved. Um, in, what do you think? Is it the same? Well, community policing is a style of policing uh, which can happen whether the state, whether it's with the state police or federal police. So, state police is when the state controls the police and owns the police. So, you can have state police and not necessarily community police. You can have federal police and community police. The challenge with the community police initiative in Nigeria is it's been on for over a decade now. Uh, each inspector general police come on and say, okay, we are doing community policing. But the fact is, they've not been resourced to do it. The police have not been given the resources to do it. And I must say, this current government has given police some resources to actually deliver on these things. That's why I think uh, about 10,000 people are, are sort of um, officers who are recruited recently purely to focus on community policing. But my challenge is some will say that is a little bit too late, you know, too little too late from the government. They should have done community policing and funded it years ago. But be that as it may, we are, we are, we are, we are with that. But government needs to fund it, and police also need to change some of their operating procedure. For example, one of the major challenges with community policing uh, uh, over the years has been the police uh, style of transferring staff. You know, officers yeah. across states. Yeah. So, sorry, as, sorry, yeah. as, yes. sorry to have to cut you short there, but um, uh, some people are already saying that if Amoteko is not allowed to continue, you've said it's an issue of structure, then what about Hizba in the north um, set up in that region by the leaders there? And they didn't seem to have this same structure problem or the issue of territorial integrity. What do you have to say about that? That is a fair criticism, I will, I will, I will admit. Um, it appears as though it's a bit of hypocrisy on the, back, on, on the side of the federal government in that sense. Um, well, I mean, somebody will say two wrongs don't make a right. But clearly, I, mean, I think it will not work when it comes to security if the um, Western, the Southwest government, governments 
proceed with this without the support of the federal government. Remember, the police will still be the backbone of this operation. So the Amatekin guys are supposed to see something suspicious, call the police. The police will still have to respond. So, 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 so the cooperation of the federal government is said is definitely needed for this to work. It cannot work purely as a state uh, enterprise in that sense. So I agree. Uh, 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 yes, there appear to be dual standard in that sense. But you know, federal government has a lot of latitude when it comes to security. All right, lawyer and security analyst Dr. Charles Omole. Thanks a lot for joining us on the news at ten, all the way from London. Thank you. Thank you.